felt very strongly to re-release this word today. I had a dream where I was carrying a very large billboard and I placed it in a strategic place where many would see the declaration written upon it. The Lord had written on this billboard, the Sarahs are rising. In the dream, as I looked at the billboard, the sense surrounded me strongly of the story of Abraham and Sarah in Genesis 18, where Abraham has the encounter with the three men, the Lord, and they tell him they would return to him about the same time next year, and Sarah would have a son. While this is going on, Sarah is listening, and at this point, they are both very old, and Sarah was really past the age of having a child. So, what does Sarah do? She laughs. Verse 12 of Genesis 18 says, So she laughed silently to herself and said, How could a worn-out woman like me enjoy such pleasure, especially when my master, my husband, is so old? The story goes on in verse 13 to 14 where the Lord says to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? Why did she say, Can an old woman like me have a baby? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return about this time next year, and Sarah will have a son. The Lord is revealing unbelief and releasing a divine injection of faith and hope. In this dream, there was a real highlight on the part of the story where Sarah laughed. Verse 12, the sense in the dream was that the Lord was exposing unbelief and exposing limited thinking and, as his daughters pressed deeper into intimacy and repentance of unbelief and limited thinking, he is bringing them into a new level of faith and hope in him as the God who can do anything. There is a significant upgrade of faith and hope that he is releasing right now. It's completely supernatural. He is increasing sight, faith and conviction in his daughters to not look at the natural, to look past the natural and impossibilities, and look to him, the God who can do anything and defies the natural. I also felt the Lord is working deeply in bringing healing to the hearts and souls of his daughters that have been struggling with disappointment, hurts and hope deferred over long-awaited promises not yet coming to pass. The Sarahs are arising with great joy and an impartation to release the revelation of Hebrews 11:11. 11, 11. As the dream went on, I felt a turning on Sarah laughing. I felt there was a turning happening from the place where many daughters have felt that laughter of doubt or unbelief of almost how is this ever going to happen? Really, God? Is this really going to happen for me, to a laughter of joy in His promise and the manifestation of His miracle in their life? I heard Hebrews 11:11 11, 11 over and over again. Sarah's faith embraced the miracle power to conceive even though she was barren and was past the age of childbearing, for the authority of her faith rested in the one who made the promise, and she tapped into his faithfulness. Hebrews 11:11, 11, 11, The Passion Translation There is a joy that is going to be released to the Sarahs right now as they tap into his faithfulness. As they put their faith in who he is. The God who can do anything. The Lord kept his word and did for Sarah exactly what he had promised. She became pregnant, and she gave birth to a son for Abraham in his old age. This happened just at the time God said it would and Abraham named their son Isaac. Genesis 18 1-3 And Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. Genesis 18:6. The enemy and circumstances have been attempting to abort what God is conceiving in his daughters right now and the manifestation of the miracles and impossibilities bowing eye in their life and through their life. Keep your eyes on him daughters of God, tap into his faithfulness for exactly what he has promised you is about to come to pass and at the exact time he said it would. Sarah's you are now arising and you will arise with your mouth full of laughter, your womb full of the fruitfulness of the Lord and any barrenness in the natural is being healed and overcome now in Jesus' name. You will not only be full of joy and laughter, through what God is doing in and through you and your miracle and impossibilities bowing and the sudden turning releasing the supernatural power and manifest promises of God, you will release impartations of joy to others. 
others will laugh and rejoice with you and impartations of faith will be released through you to others for their miracle. Sarah, as you are now taking your place. There is a very strategic place for you right now, mighty Sarahs. God is increasing your faith eye in your journey, filling you with hope even when it looks impossible, and the birthing of your promise, that is about to be seen, is going to see you positioned to bring a corporate shift in the body of Christ to a higher level of faith to believe in the one who can do anything. Sarah's what you are walking through and about to birth is extremely strategic for what the Lord is doing right now. The greatest suddenly move of his spirit to see the army of his daughters rise up and take their place, the warriors who stare natural impossibilities in the face by tapping into his faithfulness, and seeing the miraculous power of God conceive in his daughters all across the world only what he could conceive. You shall be known as the daughters of God who laugh at the enemy and his taunts. And laugh in joy in the revelation of the one who overcomes all impossibilities. Oh, such faith and hope are about to explode in you. Daughters of God, Sarahs. You are about to see a miraculous conception and birthing of God in your life marked with the glorious testimony of Hebrews 11:11 11, 11, and the visible manifestation of Zechariah 4:6. It is not by force nor by strength, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Jesus has got this. It's going to be all him. Daughters of God, you're about to laugh with joy in his miraculous conception and birthing, like you have never laughed before.